It's beautiful. Pretty amazing, huh? See? It's not so bad here in the forest. Life is Strange 2 episode 1 is out, we've played it, we've completed it, and now we are ready to talk about it in exhaustive detail. We know that's what you want to hear, Life Buckle is Strange in. fans, it's what we want to do, everything about this is so right. And we're going to be talking about Life is Strange 2 episode 1, obviously massive spoiler warning for that. From the off. From the off, we're also not going to be shy about talking about things that happen in Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm. But if you are watching this after um, Life is Strange 2 Episode 2 has come out, we don't know what happens in that. We've only played Episode 1, so there will be no spoilers for anything apart from Episode 1 in Life is Strange 2. Solid. It's solid, You've yeah. You've done it. Covered. We're going to be talking about moments in the game uh, in Episode 1 that made you go, whoa! Whoa! Or possibly, whoa. Uh, but we're going to be doing another follow-up video where we want to talk about theories. Your theories. Predictions. Um, Give exactly. us them. Give us them so that we can discuss them. So if you want to see Luke and Jane discussing... Rating your theories. <laughs> getting really stuck into your prediction. <laughs> Maybe judgmentally, a little bit. No. A kind heart. Just pop your thoughts in the comments and make sure at the beginning of the comment you put LIS2 theories and that way that makes it just a bit easier for us to search through all the comments. LIS2 theories. LIS2 theories. Where's it all going? Where's it all going? We want to know. We want to know what you think is happening and we'll talk about it in another video. But for now, here's the moments that made us go, Whoa! Whoa! Oh no. Sean, what's Get happening? Sean! Yeah. We didn't do Sean, anything. Sean, be quiet. I swear. Officer, Shut listen. up. I'm sorry, Dad. Daddy. Be quiet. I want to go home. They're good kids, Officer. Don't move. I'm sure they didn't do I anything. I said don't move. We didn't Daddy, do anything. It's going to be all right. On the ground. So, Jane, let's start by talking about uh, the catastrophe. The breaking apart of the family. Oh. The, the, the exploding of the police and the death of the dad. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Let's do it. We all yeah. knew it was coming. Yeah. I think if, if you were even a little bit in, well, maybe we didn't all know it was coming, but if you were a little bit engaged with uh, Life is Strange 2 before it came out, you've probably seen the trailer. You may well have seen the extended gameplay demo. And it, it all led up to this cataclysmic moment, which we understand now, we have context for, we, we kind of know it in detail, but we all knew something bad was going to happen, and yeah. it sure did. So, because Jane, obviously you and I are big Life is Strange fans, and we're sort of following everything that they say, they tell you about the game before it comes out, um, so you knew that the dad was going to die, I knew yeah. that the dad was going to die, yeah. after about... I don't know, maybe, what, sort of half an hour in? We knew it was early on. It's the prologue, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We the, knew it's the like... The thing that kickstarts the game. Yeah, the first major thing. Knowing that it was going to happen, mm. how did you approach the opening scenes of the game? I, it's a slightly false thing, me asking you this, because I know how you approached it. Because I tweeted it. it. And it was... <laughs> and it was wicked. <laughs> Wicked, like <laughs> wicked, or like... No, not that, no! <laughs> not like wicked, like... <laughs> Wicked! Oh. Why didn't you hug your dad? Why didn't I hug my dad? Well, let me tell you, Luke, uh, as the early events of the game played out, obviously a lot of them were familiar because we'd seen sort of an abridged version yeah. of it yeah. in the promotional gameplay mm -hmm. demo, right? So I knew how things went a certain way, so partly it was curiosity, you know, what happens if you play this a different way? Yeah. Is it vastly different? Does it just kind of colour things a little bit? Or, you know, what, what can you access by making the other choice? Sure. But, that, but let, let's be real, the reason I really did it was because I was trying to like role play as, as natural and authentic a teenager as I could, which meant being a bit of a dickhead. Sure. And, 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 and. so the, the moment where you're offered the chance to hug your dad, mm. the bit before that is I remember question, it well. Yes. Shortly so, after, I hugged my dad. <laughs> so <laughs> it's preceded by the question where he's like, uh, oh, so you need some money for this Halloween party, do you? Now oh, tell yeah. me, Are tell you going to spend it on drugs? Are you going to spend it on, on beer and drugs now? I said no, which I maintain is technically not lying because I already had beer oh. and drugs. <laughs> so, oh, I, I, if I were role playing as an authentic teen, <laughs> the teenager would be like, ah, but yeah. dad, uh, my friend Lila is bringing the drugs and the beer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, there's going to be a keg at the party. All right. So, 
the money is just it's, it's just gravy. It's, it's just extra on top. It's probably <laughs> it's probably more authentic. You're right to try and twist the truth because for a teenager to be like technically I didn't technically lie. Technically I didn't lie. And but also you may as well say like no, Dad, I'm not going to spend it on beer and drugs because you're going to die in ten minutes <laughs> and I'm not going to the party. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. And part of me was like actually you're probably going to make the game harder for yourself, which I did because. I was vaguely aware that that money is what you're going to start the game with. And actually, it turns out you need money to live, to buy food. I didn't take any supplies. money from the from the swear jar. Oh no, I didn't take money from the swear jar. But it should have, should have filled our pockets. But it's what Dad would want. Here's the thing: if if you're trying to play it in a, a somewhat like authentic role play way, rather than just I want the smoothest, easiest possible ride through this game, yeah. which is kind of the way I approach Life is Strange. If you're trying to play it as naturally as possible, I think for me the hug thing as well, th this is the point, you don't know when something cataclysmic is going to happen and mm. t t can, I, can I be real for a second? Yeah. The point is someone could uh, offer to like connect with you, like with a hug or you know with a, 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 an emotional moment at any point in your life, and if you don't, if you're not receptive in that moment, that might be the last time you ever see them. They might step under a bus tomorrow, and that might be the last opportunity. I know it sounds like I'm talking myself into accepting the hug. Yeah. But I just thought it would be emotionally just devastating, and it was. <laughs> so experiment complete. So, so a win so for I Jane. Win. No, I was, I was curious as, sure. as to what would happen, and it did feel like, and this sounds a little bit pretentious, but imagine you were writing something, okay. and you were like, I, I want to write a sad story. Okay. okay. I want to write a sad story. What would be... You're, you're finally making sense to me. What would be more poignant? Yeah. What would be more um, heartbreaking yeah. than in the final moments, your last interaction that's seemingly at the time very trivial and arbitrary and just like, hey, give your old dad a hug. And you're yeah. like, yeah. He, he's not rude. He's not like rude. Like, um, you're not rude or, or aggressive or angry at your dad. You're just like, he's like, hey, give your old dad a hug. And you're like, oh, dad. Because he, you go like, oh, dad, no. That's because he, he does it in a sort of jokey way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he still says, I love you, son, or something. And mm. you're like, I love you too. Okay. So it's nice, you know, it's nice and it's natural and it, it's believable. Yeah. But also, heartbreakingly, later in the episode, there's a bit where he's like, and I never hugged my dad goodbye. Oh. And yeah, that's when it got me. That's when I was like, Oh damn you! Uh, damn well, you! Well, experiment. That's what you wanted, right? <laughs> yeah, you that were is like, what I wanted. How can I get? How can I get yeah. this the most I'm emotional like, hurt punch? Hurt me, life is strange. Hurt me. Wow. And it did. And it it did. real. It really did. And so it did. it's what I want. I want the feels. Yeah. Yeah. You I just want to feel life alive. Your heart. <laughs> and you said, stamp on this. Hurt me now. Yeah. So uh, it was very effective in okay. that way. So now I hope you understand why I made that I do. terrible, terrible yeah. decision. In that classic life is strange way. You said something interesting to me earlier, Jane where you were qu kind of questioning like why do you think the boys run oh yeah so i guess in the immediate aftermath of the cataclysmic yeah. shooting and explosion i know why on paper they run because they are clearly implicated in a very serious crime mm. it looks very very bad mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's very hard to put yourself in that mindset i can't imagine i would be smart enough to run almost that feels like the unsmart move though and i can sort of believe it in that sense where it's just like you are freaking out and you you know a whole bunch of trouble is coming your way. Yeah. And actually the unsmart thing to do is run because you can't possibly expect as a very young teenager and his even younger brother to stay on the run, to stay evading the police for very long. They evade so, them for ages. Well, I know, I think that's probably, in this very like fantastical story, the yeah. least realistic thing is the idea that a 16 year old and a nine year old, nearly yeah, 10 yeah. year old could possibly evade the authorities for They're so sticking long. to the roads. <laughs> yeah. Does it like... They're very, like, recognised. You know, if, if you had, um, um, you know, their faces on newspapers, which they are, yeah. they would be recognised everywhere. And I suppose, actually, as we'll get on to, they are recognised yes, quite I suppose soon so. after they come out of, like, the forest. So, but, you know, they go a few days just walking along the road out of town. Yeah. Pop up a roadblock. Yeah. Send a, send yeah. a car. I, I thought the, the curious thing was, like, if you're dad had just been killed or, or badly hurt in front of you yeah i feel like the denial would kick in and you'd be like i'm not leaving my father's fallen body like Simba. because maybe he's not dead you know like Simba with Mufasa. Exactly, exactly nuzzling his paw hoping he'll come back did you check his back. pulse maybe he's not dead maybe he comes back 
you said something pretty out there earlier. What's that? You think oh! That, you think the dad might oh, not be well, dead? Seeing, seeing as we're saving theories for another video, let's not, okay, let's come let's back not to get that. super into it. Mm, but, yeah. what if somehow, by the end of Life is Strange 2, we're back at square one somehow and, and Esteban isn't dead. Could be. And that Halloween party, what if that Halloween party was still to happen? It would be good to actually get to that Halloween party. Right. We've done quite a lot right. of legwork Ready for, for this it. Halloween party. Yeah, like we've, Come on, Halloween party. We've got party. a date, we've mm. got the snacks. Yeah. It's a real shame to not go. <laughs> we did all that legwork. We don't know for sure that they don't go. It might be that they <laughs> run to the party. <laughs> oh no, we do because if you go through the texts, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you not at this party, dude? This party yeah. is fire. Where are you? And, and then, like, the next morning, like, oh, oh damn. Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Sidebar. Yeah. Um, how crazy was it when you opened up your phone for the first time and saw how many messages you had between oh, I really love you that. and Lila? I really like that. Someone's, like, gone back and, and yeah. written all these. Yeah. And it takes so long to scroll to the top. Yeah, but all you're this determined. text history. You're like, yeah. I'm going to see That's it That's good. All. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was That's really good. Great. And it was great going through all the different phone conversations as well and, like, placing up different dates. Like, there's a point you oh, can figure wow. out where, like, Sean goes to a party yeah. and, like, then he's sort of... he's. He's hung over, but he's like pretending not to be to other people. He's like calling in sick, and they're like, I yeah. can't remember the specifics, but there are definitely some interesting ways that they. Yeah, they yeah, it. nice little storytelling. Touches. While we're while we're talking about the whole like why did they run thing? Yes. Um, do you think this might be a, a fitting juncture to to raise the question of the mother? Because at one point she is mentioned, isn't she, by Brody? I think later in the uh, in a few parts, yeah. Yeah, um, and Sean is very dismissive. He does not want to go there. He does not want to talk about her. Um, did it, you inspect the bikes in the basement? Yeah, and there's it's a like, lady's bike, and he's like, yeah, "You should sell. We should just sell. We should this. sell that bike. Dad should just sell that other bike." Yeah. Now, who knows? But that doesn't feel like the language of someone talking about someone who passed away. No, no, no. I, I got the strong impression that, that she mum left. had left. Or maybe they think she left. Maybe she disappeared and they assume that she ran off. She um, went to I, work for the FBI. I don't think it's... I don't think it's yet clear the nature of her leaving the family. Yeah. Whether she said goodbye and it was clearly an abandonment or she disappeared and they assume it was an abandonment. But what That's we, not clear yeah. yet. But, but like you say, he is quite dismissive. So they clearly think that we can, I think she we can just vanished yeah. on we, purpose. We don't know what happened to the mum, but I think after episode one, we can definitely infer mm. that whatever it was, was pretty cataclysmic for you to be in a situation where your dad dies mm. and you to Mexico rather than trying to get in touch with your Yes, I don't think she's I suspect mother. she's not reachable because if Even so, she... once once they'd be taken into care though, they'd be like, We do have a parent, FYI. She seems to have disappeared in a pretty irreversible way. I okay, well, uh, all we can say for now, though, is yeah. that. But that is something. You yes. know, that is something that yes. we can sort of yes. infer. Yes. The absence of, of the mother as an option says something in itself. Yes. Can I play? Please, please, please. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. We can't waste money on that kind of stuff right now. What? That's it? Yeah, I told you. Come on. Let's not waste time on that stupid thing. Not fair. I just wanted one little power bear. I know, Daniel. But look, we're already surrounded by bears. Having left town, mm. being on the run with a small child suddenly in your care, you go from feckless teenager to guardian. How was yeah. that for you, Luke? Because as, as, a, as a moment there made me go, whoa, I was like, whoa, whoa. this kid needs me to stay alive. Crushing That's a responsibility, lot of yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely, the, there was an enormous change in how I was viewing decisions even clearly quite minor ones, how I was viewing decisions like pre-incident and post-incident. Okay. So like, for example, when you're sort of in the house and you're like, oh, man, I don't know, am I going to take chips or... or, or <laughs> soda, cookies, six pack. Soda, yeah. Six, yeah, like soda or six pack. That feels like a kind of life is strange grade decision. Yeah. In that it's kind of like, do I want to take this and possibly someone will get drunk and something yeah. bad might happen? Mm. Or do I want to take soda and maybe I'll look less cool? You know, okay. that feels like a classic life is strange minor decision mm -hmm. to me. And then, but compare that to like when you get to the campsite 
and you're like, and Daniel's like, oh, shall I make the fortifications or gather wood? Yeah. And I was like, man, I've got to think about this because I've got to look after Daniel. Like, stay <laughs> where then, I can see I like, you. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. move away. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I'll get the firewood. You stay. You stay right here. Don't move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think that. And they, yeah. the way they like. Um, the way they flag all this stuff, like, there's bears here. There's, like, bear claw ah, marks on the yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a warning poster that says yeah. bears. And you're like, oh, no, he's going to get you. A, a real balancing of <laughs> yeah. my sort of, like, instinct to want to see a bear in the game. And also, like, I hope I don't accidentally make the choices that mean a bear gets Daniel. <laughs> what if you can end the game in episode one and a bear gets Daniel? And I'm the 1% <laughs> yeah, of is. people. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then your console won't let you install episode two. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like, canonically, you killed like, your brother. No, a Bear, a bear eh? Don't you remember? Well, you have to complete the rest of the game and it's just you. <laughs> the camera keeps going to where Daniel would be, <laughs> but there's just like an empty yeah. space. Yeah. Sad. Another good example is when you're walking through the woods and you find like the berries yeah. and stuff. Didn't I say berries when we were discussing Life is Strange 2? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I bet there's something where there's like poison berries and you like, you have to teach him not <laughs> to the, eat the poison berries. And it's the very berries. first thing. Yeah. Well, it's more like... It's not super responsible because it's not like you're like, whoa, Daniel, we no, don't know what's safe what to eat. It's like, like, hang on, yeah, it's like, Bray, hang on, Daniel, on, on, let on. me try. Oh. Mirror came. Let's wait four hours while I digest these berries yeah, yeah, and yeah, check yeah. there are no yeah. ill effects. It's like, yeah. well, they taste okay. He takes so. one, he's like, oh, yeah, no, don't eat these. <laughs> hey, man, do not eat those. Seriously. Also, I'm poisoned now, presumably. No, he know? says do, do eat these, doesn't he? Uh, there are some. There are some that are bad. Oh, I thought there was only one berry thing. Oh in, yeah, in the no, one there that... are some different ones. Oh, yeah, there are some different kinds of berries. The only kind that I encountered, he eats them and then goes, "Yeah, they're all right." And yeah, then, cool. And then the brother eats a yeah. bunch of them. I didn't mm. realise there's more kinds. It would make more sense if he's like, "Oh yeah, these. I recognise these. These are blackberries. You yeah, can eat yeah, them." Yeah. But he's anyway. just like, yeah. Seems good. <laughs> Go for it. Nature's M and M's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, like, what was Sean's plan if he got poisoned? <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. Like, it would almost make more sense to have if someone has Call to taste them. Poison control, yeah. little bro. It would make more sense for Daniel to taste them because he can at least be carried to hospital. Like, Sean would just die in the woods and Again, leave Daniel to be got by the bear. Maybe if you wanted to be generous and read between the lines, it's like he he suspected they were a certain kind of thing, yeah, and sure. he was going to spit it out sure. if he's like, oh wait, these aren't blackberries at yeah. all. But but I was really, really overthinking all of those like, <laughs> yeah. decisions because I did feel that crazy sense of responsibility. Yeah. And, and like some of them really carry through. Like I, I was shocked to find it, it, in the end thing when it's doing the percentages oh, of the yeah. choices that uh -huh. it was possible to like have Daniel be like sick all night with like berry poison. Oh no, so he's up all night with a bad stomach with and- bad, Yeah, oh. it can, I did, yeah. I, yeah, I managed oh, man, to avoid that, that. That screen of shame really, really hammered home yeah, my bad yeah, decisions. Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought I'd done pretty well with feeding him, but it was like Daniel didn't have enough to eat. And I'm oh, like, yes. I fed him so much, that hungry little monster. He ate all the berries he wanted. He had mac and cheese. I got him one of those you choco mac crisp and bars. Yeah. Wow, I didn't get him any mac and he still and didn't have enough to eat. Wow, you fed Daniel a lot more than I did. Yeah. <laughs> it's like having a Tamagotchi. Yeah, pooping everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Eating all the berries. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I felt extremely yeah. responsible. And because his AI, it's very like, oh, I'm going to wander over here and wander over here. I'm like, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Did you lose him Come at one point? Come back here. Um, I played hide and seek with him. Oh, I and, didn't. And I was like, oh my God, where's he gone? This oh. was a terrible idea. And I'm like, this is what it's like for every parent all the time. There's a point where you're just walking through and honestly, I spun around. I don't know what happened. And he was yeah. just gone. Oh no. And the game's like, oh, press this button to recenter on Daniel. And, and it's I'm like, pressing you can't it. See and I'm him. like, I can't see him. I bet I got him. Yeah, it's okay. like that yeah. button only works if he's actually in your field of yeah, vision. Yeah, yeah, it just swings yeah. the camera around. I had to but like, if he's out of view, yeah. he's out of view, which I, is quite stressful. I had a real panicky 30 seconds. Yeah. I was like running around like the little bit of environment going like, there's no way he could have gone. Yeah, yeah. And then I went round this bush and I was like, oh, he's down there. That's exactly what happened to your mum and dad, Luke, when you were at the beach and you thought you'd walk along the, the surf. No, it's different. Only, then... <laughs> only I have suffered. <laughs> but it, yeah, it felt authentically yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, stressful. Yeah. And I was like, why did I agree to play hide and seek with him? I, know. I thought it would make him happy, but now I've lost him and he's been eaten by bears. The, so. Yeah, uh, speaking of the AI as well, okay. uh, I think part of that feel, feeling responsible is just mm. that his AI feels really, really good, really believable. Uh, in that it's quite annoying and, and unpredictable. It's quite irritating. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. most, the most annoying thing for me yeah. was like, I was doing my sketch of the lake. Oh yeah. You know, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can yeah, fill yeah, this in yeah. with a bit more detail. Anyway, I look up from my sketchbook and wouldn't you know it, 
Daniel's stood over by the shore being like, wish I knew how to skim stones, yep. but I'll never learn. And I was like, here we go. Yep. Big brother about Time to step for a in cut scene. and be a hero. Yep. And I walk over to Daniel. Picking up a nice flat rock. Yep. And by the time I get there, yep. he's like, bored now. Boom, and he's off. <laughs> I uh, guess I'll never learn how to skim stones. <laughs> Forget no. stones. I'm going to be a criminal instead. <laughs> yeah. If only gonna, someone had guided me the right. The thing I'm going to skim is money up the till <laughs> and my first job, yeah. land myself in prison. <laughs> but yeah, so that kind of thing doesn't ha hasn't happened before in Life is Strange, where there is Every like a time limit. Every opportunity is like eternally available to yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. So that well, was a eternally moment. up until you past that point but yeah yeah, yeah. I'm but I but you know the flip side of this is that it did make me feel good that I got to the end of the episode and uh, Daniel wasn't vomiting bad berries uh, he didn't have any bad dreams because I think it's an option to tell him like a horrible story I saw that in the screen of shame yeah it's like, like you didn't tell him a spooky story who's and... telling him who's telling him <laughs> why would you do that yeah. he just witnessed his father killed yeah you think he needs more scary stories? He's working stories hard right to now. repress that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was um, so that was pretty. Oh, I, I just was. I really liked how he's like Minecraft obsessed. Oh, is he? Did you not? Oh, because did you not have him build the fort? You had him collect the wood. Yes. If you have him build the oh fort. Oh my god, this is amazing. He's like. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a, a a trap for creepers here. I know why this then... is. I know why this is. So there's a there's a there's a dialogue option that seems really innocuous really? where it's where you're walking through and he's like, oh, these woods suck, and ah. you, and you, there's an option to reassure him and you say it's like Minecraft, oh. or you say it's like Lord of the Rings. Hey, you watched Lord of the Rings with Dad like a hundred times. Here's a chance to go on a real adventure. And I said, it's like Lord of the Rings. And he's like, and then for yeah, the yeah, whole, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the whole campsite no bit is Lord of the Rings themed. Aww. You do like sword fighting where you're like fighting orcs. Yeah, we do orcs. sword fighting, but it's like we're fighting a, a, a creeper or oh, something. No, we like were that. like fighting orcs. Aww. And he calls you, um, oh God, what does he call you? He calls you, um, uh, I don't he calls Bilbo. you. No, he calls you. Smaug. He calls you. Frodo is always ready for adventure, Sean Wise. Sean Wise. Sean Wise. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. too cute. It's like we're not oh. Sam in this situation. Oh. You're the Sam, if anyone. <laughs> no, you're Daniel. the Sam. Super adorable. And right. it also, I guess it, it means like he admires and, and looks to his brother for cues so much that yeah. you just mentioned this is like Minecraft or this is like Lord of the Rings. And then he's off. Yeah. That's his flight of fancy for the rest of the yeah. day is yeah. like imagining this forest like Lord of the Rings or like Minecraft. That's super cute. I had no yeah. idea it was going to do that. I so. know. It's really, they really committed mm, to like mm. having two completely oh, different. That's, cute. that's how he fortifies the cave. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make like a Minecraft base. Yeah, no, he's like so. fortifying it against orcs in, oh, in mine. That's yeah. super cool. I like mm. that. I like that a lot. Really sweet. Oh. Uh, and, um, also, Daniel, like, just a super chill kid. Like, imagine. Is I he? <laughs> well, no, go on. No, Sorry. I'm well, like, all right. Like, I don't know what you were like. Is it how old is he? Nine or ten? He's or? nine. Nearly okay. ten. As I don't, it says. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you were like as a nine-year-old. Right. But if someone had been to me, like, hey, Luke, lie down on the cold, barren earth mm. we're sleeping here tonight, mm. I'd have been like. No. <laughs> I don't know if I was just a sassier, almost boiled child or something. But it was like, here, lie under this like miniature pride rock. I'd be like, yeah. no. Yeah. Let's go home. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I'm not going to sleep here. It's cold. <laughs> I think may maybe the game undersold just generally how awful and uncomfortable it would be to sleep on the ground. Yeah. At night, without a sleeping bag Maybe it's just and a what, single yeah. fire, because you'd wake up and you, you would be like ruined. Like, oh yeah, your back would be wrecked, and you and you'd, be, good you'd, have, the next day. you'd have pneumonia. Yeah, he's like, and, yeah, I'd yeah. Be, yeah, I'd be like, I'm not going anywhere. My <laughs> bones are all stiff because I had to sleep in the cold, barren earth. But maybe that's because we're old and not. If you yeah, were a child, true, maybe yeah, you'd like yeah. bounce up and be like, yeah. hey. I, um, yeah, I do seem to remember that I used to be able to just go to sleep on the floor, whereas now if I do that, I can't move. But I mean, <laughs> they're, they're in the, like the Pacific Northwest, and it looks cold, it and looks it cold. probably is cold. And that fire died down during the night, and they both would have yeah. frozen. I'd be like, um, no, Sean, there's bears, <laughs> and it's bloody freezing. So the, I'm about to kick off massively <laughs> if you don't find me. A tantrum hotel. incoming. Yeah. 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 Uh, I guess in some ways he's chill, but I think the game just needed you to yeah, be able yeah, to yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah. In other ways, he's uh, a realistically annoying little brat in that every time you're like, yeah, I'll get you that chocolate bar you wanted, or yeah, I'll buy you a milkshake next time we find a diner, or yeah, yeah, you can have a whatever. And 
that that childlike thing where he holds you to every promise. Oh yeah, he's, he's like, like, you said I could have the you next You said I one. could have, you said I could have a chocolate bar, you said I could have a milkshake. And I guess he, I mean, fair enough, he's a hungry child, but... No, don't make excuses for <laughs> hungry nine-year-old But I like Jane. the realism with which if you make a promise, you can't like, yeah. just be like, meh, 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 later. And, and, and well, so everything, every promise counts, which I think makes, sort of subtly, makes a decision at the end of the episode very important. So that is when you promise, yep. uh, Daniel says like, promise you'll never lie to me. It's yep. right at the end, it's yep. when he finds out that you've been lying about dad being yep. dead, which of course you have. How are you supposed to have that conversation in the woods, Daniel? Come yeah. on, be real. Yeah. But when you're, you know, when you're having that conversation with Daniel and he's like, promise you'll never lie to me. I think that was the only decision I made that was wildly out of step with the percentages at the end. Because What I, were the percentages at the end? Remind me. Uh, I, I, it, almost everyone, as I remember, promised Daniel that they wouldn't lie to him. Yes, yes. Whereas I was like, I'm not going to promise never to lie to you. You're nine. or you, Sometimes I need to lie to you. Sometimes I need to lie to you. You don't know what's best. You're but the, nine. But couldn't you lie to him by promising to lie to him? This was what Which was going is through like my the head. comforting yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Because but, clearly the comforting thing to say to a, a kid who's having a telekinetic freak out yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. whatever it takes. Yeah. I promise not to lie to you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because it's a video game that's Daniel will remember that yeah. Telltale style. You're like, yeah. if I promise and then I break that promise, this game is going to punish me so hard. I remember that being an, an option. Yeah. And I was like, I really hope I don't get the little dancey wolves when I press this. And yes! I like, I'll try, Daniel. But I need to protect you now. The little wolf running animation is like oh. saving that commitment yes. right now. <laughs> the game like, going, no, oh, really? <laughs> there are a couple of other little Daniel moments, though. Okay. Like, okay. probably the hardest moment for me in the whole episode okay. was not when the dad died. But when I found the emotional maturity to walk away from the grabber machine <laughs> and instead <laughs> buy, and buy Daniel some, some food to Truly it. Truly I am become a man. <laughs> yeah, I had like $40 and I, I played it like three times. Oh man! And I was like, you know what? I should probably go and buy him some food and then if there's any money left, <laughs> I'll come back to the grab oh machine. God. I had $20 because I lied to my dad and he gave me half the money. Yeah. And I still spent as many dollars as it took <laughs> to win on the grab machine. Hunger comes and hunger goes, but that little plastic <laughs> bear is going to carry him through this oh, ordeal, Luke, I assume. Why did I feed my stupid baby brother <laughs> instead of winning him a good action bear? I spent every bear. last cent I had. That's why I bought the mac and cheese, because it was cheaper than a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, here, eat this can of cold mac and cheese and look at your bear. <laughs> look at your <laughs> look bear Look at toy. your bear for warmth. <laughs> Oh, oh, but the nice thing about it is because with the, the grabber machine, it's like either you can let him try it or you can try it or you can let him try it and then be like, stand aside, little bro, I got this. Yeah. The nice thing, you, you can keep giving him dollars until he gets it. And then it's like, you did it. You've got the power, little man. But that's so stupid. Man. You can't be like, he, he's got to learn difficult life lessons. You can't be like, you did it. If you or if you if you just believe in yourself, you can win a grabber machine. Because grabber machines are stupid. <laughs> the and you game can't is win rigged. Them. We should be yeah. teaching him that the game was rigged from the start. That's right. Should, the yeah. only way to win is not to play. There should have been an option to play once, lose, and then spin down your round and go. You see what just <laughs> happened, Daniel. You see what just happened. That's life, man. <laughs> That's life for you, that's life for me. Third option to smash the machine open. <laughs> yeah, take all the Take bears. all the bears. No time for food. <laughs> we'll have to get rid of we get all this. We'll sell the bears. I have to get all the food out of my bag <laughs> to make room for these bears. Uh, did your Daniel, your Daniel, mm. did your Daniel steal anything? So at the end, at the screen of shame, it was like Daniel can steal from. He can steal from Brody. He can steal from Brody. We'll come so, on to Brody a bit okay, more. Okay, right. we'll, we'll, we'll get on to that later. Yeah. But while we're talking about, you know, how you influence your little bro and, yeah. and what you teach him. Mm. There are so many opportunities to steal yeah. food, I think, pretty much always food. Yeah. Um, and it makes a lot of sense to do it because as far as you know, you've got extremely finite money and you're not coming into any more. Yeah. Uh, I never did. I got to admit, I veered away from my, I'm going to authentically role play this thing yeah. because I was hyper aware that if I stole even a single thing, this game was going to punish me for it and i was like i've still got like a few bucks having fed most of it into the grabber machine yeah i was like i've got a few bucks as long as i've got a few bucks no one's gonna starve because i'll buy like some chocolate bars a candy bar or something yeah, yeah, yeah. so i'm like i'm not gonna steal anything because this lady at the till is kind of suspect 
Yeah, and I, didn't I bet anything. she's going to call the cops or yeah. something, something. But I, in a, if I was playing it more kind of like honestly, mm. I'd have been like, I bet I can steal one of those things. You know, yeah. if, it, if it were yeah. real, I probably would have. I didn't. And I think the mechanic they were hinting at in the sort of promotional phase before the game came out was that your actions will affect what kind of person your little brother becomes. Mm -hmm. And I think if your brother sees you stealing, or if he knows you've stolen, like you've stolen the chocolate bar for him, yeah. then he will steal from Brody, even though there's no good reason. Just because Brody's a, we'll get on to Brody. Brody's a nice guy who only helps you out. In fact, he's an unfeasibly nice guy. If your little brother steals from him, then you can conclude you've done something wrong. Yeah. Because yeah, your, bro your little brother's like, I guess fair. stealing is a thing we do. Yoink. In that situation, it's more likely that your little brother would be like, you stole, that's bad. I'm, I'm um, telling. I'm telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, miss. And you'd be like, no. Sean stole me some you, food. You'd be like, this is Arrest real, him. real life. This is, yeah, yeah this is real little boy. Yeah. Oh, what? Option to spin down your round. <laughs> this, right, is you. this is life. This is life, There should be a single face button dedicated to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. spinning, spinning your brother around. around. This is life, man. Speaking of stealing and suspicion, mm. let's move on to the next thing. Mm. All of the other jerks in the world. Oh, man. Could you spare a little food or something? Jesus. Get a job, kid. <laughs> yeah. We'd like to help, but... I thought we left Berkeley to get away from this. Ugh. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, no worries. It's cool. Didn't mean to bug you. Okay, people at the gas station. We've what, got, what is up with you? We've got the... We've, I mean, we've got the, the couple who run the uh, gas station yes. who are... Well, wrong. Yeah. Super bad. <laughs> whoa. And then whoa. The moments that made us go whoa. whoa. Hold up. <laughs> and then we've got the family eating dinner uh, at the picnic table. They made me go more like whoa. <sighs> I hated them so much. Yeah. The dad in that family <gasps> can absolutely do one. Yeah, he, he can was, do all the ones. <laughs> you know, like imagine. I'll tell you what, it's his, it's his kids I feel sorry for because, you know, we might be like about to scrounge through some bins. Yeah. But like those that kids. Poor little girl. Oh man. It's just one, wasn't it? Just little imagine girl. being on holiday with that dad and he's got that attitude. <laughs> yeah. Who loves the sun? Can't wait for all that snow. And he's, like, and he's we're on holiday! Yeah. And he's like, he's like, oh, like yeah, well, well, if we ever bloody get there with this traffic. <laughs> okay, Should have left right. earlier. I said we should have I left earlier. I said up at eight for a nine o'clock departure. <laughs> he's really salty and... Yeah. And also, I assume racist because... And this mm. was what I... I hesitate to say enjoyed because it was really unpleasant. But what I admired about the interaction yeah. was that it put me in this, what I felt was a pretty authentic scenario where I was interacting with this guy, I definitely got vibes that it could go nasty. Yeah. And I was sort of doing everything in my power to be respectable and seem like a yeah. good kid. And like, I'm good, don't judge me. And You're, I'm like, yeah. I shouldn't have to prove that to you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. You've already decided that I'm some no good, Urchin. That especially comes to the fore when the proprietor of the gas station accuses you of stealing. Yeah, and you're and, like, do you want yeah. a receipt, man? Yeah. I bought all this stuff. I didn't steal. I was so cocky. Mm. Anyway, it, you it, go on. Well, it was a good, it was a good moment yes. because uh, I hadn't stole, you didn't steal, and I think both of us, as we were playing that, when the dude approaches yeah. and says, hey, did you guys pay for yes. all that? I thought, here we go. This life, was clever. Yeah, yeah. Life is Strange 2 is I'm ready about for my... to Sorry. punish me for stealing yes. yeah, or reward me. Yes for not stealing. And I'm like, I'm ready for my reward. Yeah. I've been good, yeah. reward me. And th that's what I thought was genius about that moment because it really <laughs> subverts that expectation. Yes. Because you have three options to interact with that dude, right? It's like yeah. flee, uh, fight, it's like him, fight him, or, or just discuss like rational human beings. What yeah, did you I, choose? Well, I obviously chose that one because I was thinking, I haven't stolen anything. So like Let's this conversation will store. reach a natural yeah. point. We're yeah. gonna go back into the store. He's gonna be embarrassed. And I'll be like, Yes, because of their ethnicity, mm. they are not given the benefit of the doubt yeah. by like racist characters like the ah, owner of the gas ah, station. Ah, ah. It's not for me to judge uh, how successful the game is at dealing with that. What I perhaps could say is that I think it's, I think it's good that the game, that it goes there, that it talks yeah. about that. It's very political. I could definitely see how the very obvious like neon sign racism yeah. is well-meaning, but not 
as insidious or as subtle. Well, look, uh, yeah, I suppose racism as it could be, but it's a you could make the you you could perhaps situation. make the argument that the interaction with the the family at the picnic table was more nuanced. Yeah, no one says anything racist, but you just get the vibe that they don't like you, and it's not something that you've done. Do you mind? We're kind of busy. Yes, we are a little busy. Yeah. Bye bye. If you say so, then, well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? But the thing to which it builds, yeah. the real moment that made us go, whoa, yeah. is the, 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 kidnap the kidnap that it leads to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that came out of nowhere. That was very weird and intense. Yeah, naught to 60. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, though. Um, it did such a good job of building tension, that scene where you're sort of like handcuffed to the thing. Even Very menacing, though yeah. There was a part in the back of my head that was saying like, you can't fail this. You could you could go make, put the controller down, go make a cup of tea and you'll come back and he'll still be, like the, the dude will still have just be popping out the room for a little bit, you know, like, I don't think it's failable. What but, if there, but I don't know, what if knows? there was a time limit and the guy comes back and they're like, well, I've called the police, game over. Yeah, you know? that would be, you know, That'd like, be bad. life is strange, <laughs> it can like, catch you unawares like that. I'd already been caught unawares by the game several times already. And so I really, really just wanted to do a good job. Yeah, me too. And escape. Yeah. Um, uh, but I really, really enjoyed the way that escaping like required looking at things and getting Daniel to interact with them. Oh, that was great. This it is, felt like yeah. a co-op puzzle, yeah. but it was just you. This yeah. is something that um, I know that uh, Johnny at Eurogamer has, mm. has already mentioned oh, on, yeah. on their channel when mm -hmm. they're talking about like yeah. predictions for the future. But I think that definitely um, foreshadows uh, the way that Daniel's powers are going to be used. I think uh, you're going to be in similar situations yeah. where you're looking at things and being like, use your powers on that, uh, yeah. use your powers on yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. those like, if, if every episode we get one or two sequences that yep. are that like almost pure co-op Mm. It, but with like your yeah. little AI brother, yeah. I'd be very happy. It was very mm. exciting, very exciting. I like that you were in a dark room and the the elements of the puzzle that you were responsible for were, was was making light happen, so yeah, that you yeah, could yeah. see the things yeah. and then help mm. get your brother to help you out with them. Yeah. yeah, it was very cool. And then obviously we get like a, a little bit more powers when you know like when daniel goes through and like sort of powers it in the gas station oh what, wow lucky yeah didn't, lucky didn't blow up the gas station you know yeah yeah ignites the gas station yeah, ignite <laughs> the earth's atmosphere <laughs> um did you try and uh, steal the tent okay so i did because at that point i'm like i'm in trouble no matter what i tried to the steal police the are coming no matter what if i have to spend another night sleeping on the cold hard ground i will probably die of exposure yeah at this point i may as well steal it because and this racist jerk can do without his tent well, also this jerk is going to tell the authorities that i was stealing anyway so yeah. in for a penny in for a pound i did the same thing you go you... in to steal it yeah and he grabs you by the like a horror villain he grabs yeah. you by ah. the foot and then your option is Double down, yeah. knock him out, steal the tent, or just leg it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. a, a scared boy would be like, oh, forget this, run. You're not that kind of, uh, yeah, you're not, I mean, you're violent in that you'll have a fight with someone who's threatening your little bro, but you're not just going to be like, smash, knock yeah. this guy unconscious and then steal the tent. So uh, I did have to like think, although it felt urgent, I did also have to think about it. Because I'm like, that night in the woods was pretty hard. Yeah. What's going to happen if we have to do another one? Of course, not knowing what was going to happen next. Yes. So I'd have a useless tent. So. And what happened next was Brody, the impossible dream man. Nice. I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. Brody is an interesting character. Uh, I don't know if the game is going to pull the rug and actually he's got more to do or there's like a slightly dark or sinister side but he seemed just infeasibly kind and good and helpful and I, you know i don't want to sound cynical i can believe that you would run into someone who would want to help you i feel like i would want to i i hope that i would want to help daniel and sean if i bumped into them and they explained what their their situation was but he felt very strongly to me, and I know that this is something you mentioned as well, Jane, like developer insertion. Like this was basically, I, as soon as we met, I was like, okay, you are don't nod. He's like a likable, nerdy 
yeah. guy who he's, makes podcasts yeah. and has a blog yeah. and wants to help you, but is cool enough not to not to send you to the cops. Even though a sensible adult might be like, look, I know you're in trouble, boys, but the longer you run, the, yeah. the worse this might end. I yeah. don't want you to get shot in the backs. So what if I mediate a surrender with the authorities. I wondered if no, maybe, he's just yeah. he's too cool for that. He's like, here's some money. Yeah. You stay running. You keep dreaming. Yeah, I believe in you, boys. Hey, nine-year-old boy, Mexico's <laughs> yeah. that way. You go. Here's twenty bucks. Yeah. Anyway, Brody, you've yeah. got to bounce. You know, like looking at it as an adult, I I, I didn't feel like he was doing. Necess- I don't know what the right thing to do is because it's an impossible situation. But I'm pretty sure it's not just like being like. Yeah, man, you kids are pretty cool. All or nothing, like, drive him to Mexico, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, I mean, actually, yeah. there's there's a letter where it's like he's got to care for his mum. Right? My mum has yeah. cancer; she's in the, her final stage. I'm like, ah, the perfect excuse. The, yeah, for the, the perfect, perfect excuse for the perfect rescuer. the perfect yeah. gentleman. Uh, Brody. but what 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 if what mm. if he is an angel? <laughs> <laughs> What if he's I mean, sure. the beardy, Just, nerdy yeah, yeah. angel? I mean, that would make sense. And he's going to appear in every episode, How? but in a different disguise. So, like, what's... <laughs> he's going to be in a Dino Waitress uniform in the next episode. Like, <laughs> yeah. You boys doing yeah. okay? And he'll, yeah, and he'll be like, can I get you a little something yeah. extra? Wink, and he'll slide yeah. them $20 yeah. or something. This is yeah, how yeah, I get yeah. my yeah. wings. Yeah. Helping you boys down to Mexico. Oh, Brody. It could happen. It's just it they were very... But like, lucky, what's, what's extremely, insanely lucky. He, he, like, he says he comes from like a wealthy family. Yeah, which, sure, sure. Again, does happen in the real world. Yeah, fine. Would be extremely lucky to run into that guy, but does yeah. happen in the real world. He he comes from like a wealthy background, so he is a sort of self-funded Take them to blogger. your house. Uh, I think he Take says, like, no, he says like my money's nearly run out. So you've met me at just the right point before my money ran out completely. A little convenient. Yeah, For yeah. angel protein. Uh, it is a bit, though your sex. I suppose in that we need uh, yeah. to get them into a we need to get them into a motel safe, a safe place we need to give them money but not too yeah. much money we need to give them help but not too much help it's possible that, the, that maybe the developers were just thinking like uh, you know rather than let's be charitable let's say they weren't thinking how can we put ourselves in this game and how oh, I didn't think it would yeah, be yeah. a conscious decision to I be know, like I, I want my, me as a character but in this it, game if he was a little more the law I've got my own problems Brody you know. seems just so eerily self-assured about the situation, whereas actually- like, He's an angel. I, he, you know what? It's a flawless theory. He's an angel. He's so self-assured he's because an he knows he has he's angel a, knowledge. He's a Battlestar Galactica angel <laughs> and now he, has, now he has his wings. Yes. <laughs> uh, wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. The story of how Brody got, got his, his wings. wings. <laughs> yeah. I know, I did like him. He was a cool character. But that's the point. But that was, he's lovely. I know, but that was... I want to hug just, him. He's, he's amazing. That was one of the moments in the episode where yeah. I was like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I buy this character. Mm, I, I, don't I don't think it harmed my enjoyment too badly, mm. but I did... I, I thought similar things. Yeah. But I, I feel like you met so many really awful people that for that episode to not just be an unmitigated horror of tragedy yeah. and prejudice you know what? Like, it would be nice to meet a nice person it's always dangerous to like try and like correct th- imagine like correcting like games or tv yeah, shows like imagine yeah, like oh yeah. they should have done this it's not my place <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah because like it might be that if brody had been even a little bit less nice you'd yeah. come away from episode one thinking like that was just too grim yeah so, yeah so who knows yeah. who knows maybe maybe he's all right he's an angel He's, he's an, an angel. angel. He's fully an angel. Yeah. I'm on board. What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. <sighs> Daniel. What? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. So the dog, let's talk about the dog yeah. briefly. There's not a whole lot to say about yeah. the dog. Speaking you... of lights in the darkness. <laughs> Mushroom. This is a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushroom the dog is not a light in the darkness. What? Shut up. Look. She is. <laughs> look, Mushroom the dog yeah. is the best dog. And I love Mushroom. Bar none. Bar none. She's got a little bandana. But like, how much more stressful does it make the game now that they've introduced a tiny vulnerable puppy? Tiny vulnerable and, dare I say it, expendable because uh, your little bro can't die. He's got to make it to the end of the game because that's the game. 
I could see how the, the, there's going to be like a the dog dies. Like Kate in Life is Strange, the yeah. one you have to. It's the one it, who can. The one who can. The, the one, one who yeah. Can the one, we really die. will yep. kill this character, yep. and it's fine for us. It's not too difficult to program the rest of the game where they're not yep. there. Yeah, it wouldn't leave too big a character size. I really feel like the <laughs> yeah, dog right. can die. Yeah. And now yeah. I've it, it, as soon as that happened, I was like, even the bit where it's like, do you want to play fetch? It's like, no. You throw the stick. I and threw it too far and I was like, yeah, oh no, yeah, the yeah. dog's gone Mushroom in the goes. ocean. And Mushroom doesn't come back for oh, well, a while. Oh, that was like... short lived. Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. Mushroom! Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. I have to sprint into the ocean. <laughs> Mushroom! Okay, maybe that's the payoff for that that really momentous decision at the end of episode one where you promised to never lie to your brother again or, or to try not to lie to your brother again. Yeah. If something bad were to happen to Mushroom... And you have to lie about it. And you have to tell Daniel the devastating truth <laughs> that, that, that Mushroom... Fell in a wood chipper or something. hit by a car or... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or it, worse, oh. you did something that, that led to her being harmed. No. And you have to tell him the brutal truth. No. Or you can say a nice lie, like she went to live on a farm upstate. This is why you tell Daniel that you're going to lie to him. I will only try yeah. to not lie I to I promise you. I will always tell you the truth, unless it's about something bad happening to Mushroom. Which because is, you're nine years old yeah. and you can't handle the truth. You can't handle it, man. <laughs> All right, so... Turn him around. In conclusion... You can't handle the truth. Yeah, yeah, spin it around. Listen, yeah. Daniel. Full time, Mushroom, please. Yeah. Mushroom's yeah. dead, you hear me? <laughs> uh, so, in conclusion... Yes. We love Mushroom. Also, I hate that Mushroom is there. Yeah. It's like a like a like a weight. The bit where me. you see Mushroom in the basket, and I was like, oh, here we go, adopt or do not adopt. And the options are like, when Daniel's like, can we have her? I was and a bit like, relieved when you couldn't adopt. Because the two options are like, uh, I'll think about it, or no, yeah. definitely not. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness, because neither of those options are yes, let's take this dog. Yeah. And then I think, in fact, the the, the store owner's wife, she's like. Uh, we want adults to look after this dog, and I'm like, yeah, you may be yeah. a suspicious lady, but that is exactly the right answer. That is a good um, point. And I was like, whew, we can't look after a dog. In retrospect, that dog was clearly always going to end up with us. Like, that, that yeah. was, that was you Chekhov's dog. You introduce a puppy <laughs> and then not have the puppy in peril for four episodes. Yep. that's going to be that puppy. It's going to be dangling <sighs> off a railway bridge. Oh, it's mushroom. it's gonna be walking across live oh, electrical <laughs> mushroom like <laughs> rail tracks. nudging a yeah. toaster towards a bathtub. <laughs> no mushroom. The option save mushroom Sa or save, save your Arcadia brother. Bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> save Arcadia Bay from a, a second yeah. storm. Well, let's talk about Arcadia Bay. Oh, okay. Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. So, Arcadia Bay, uh, Jane, you and I famously chose to save Chloe in the Legendarily first game. Legendarily did the right thing. Did the right thing and yeah. sacrificed Arcadia Bay. Yeah. Uh, in your face, trolley problem. Yeah, but I, I really enjoyed how Life is Strange 2 attempted to eke out a little bit of guilt over that decision because it did not wash with me. <laughs> like, when you go up to the thing and it's like, in memory of all those who lost their souls in Arcadia Bay. And There's you look a plaque in your wasteland. I'm like, cool plaque. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good. I wish it was more ruined. God, I admire the person responsible for this carnage. <laughs> yeah. Also, are they not? There's no like construction work. Are they not? They're not rebuilding nah. that town. They're it's just a write off. Like... <laughs> That's because it's let, bad. Let nature have it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the mayor of the next town mm. came along and was like. Hmm, I'm glad Arcadia Bay is gone. Everyone <laughs> here was mean. Their views were bad. They didn't like Chloe oh, much. They weren't though. You had family there and you know. They, I know. You Look, know. I know. No, 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 Jokes no, aside, I, I know. Yep. I know that saving Arcadia Bay is also, very valid. I watched the Eurogamer playthrough. Ah, yes. They yes, saved yes, Arcadia Bay yes. and they get to the bit and you can yeah. see Arcadia Bay in its flourishing town. Doing really I, well. I yeah. really hoped that in that situation, you would get there would be like a little memorial for Chloe, maybe yeah. like a sort of or like a bench, like with yeah. a dedication or like yeah. oh for Chloe Price yeah. who tragically lost her life. She always loved looking at the town that she hated, or, <laughs> you know, or, or or something. But instead, it's just like this is Arcadia Bay, a bad town. So you know, I well, if, if Chloe had a memorial, it would be in the school toilet. 
Which is not good. I mean, not. it wouldn't have to be. <laughs> it would be, be a... like, no, we must mark the point where she fell. <laughs> this is yeah, the Chloe Price this bathroom. Tile, yeah, yeah, this tile is in memory. Yeah, this toilet's still dedicated to Chloe Price. <laughs> the Chloe Price Foundation yeah. for this bathroom upkeep. But I really, really, I, I didn't expect that the game would um, show us Arcadia Bay. That gives me hope that maybe there's going to be a little bit more interaction with the first game, or it might be that they've just got that out of the way, so it's like, hey, it's out your system, you've seen it, it all ties together, there's your reference. You like know? a sort of, yeah. Like a make One and done it's kind like, of deal. It's like, I know it's a different story, but hey, look, here's the thing. You love this, it's fan service. You love seeing ruined Arcadia Bay. Mm. Uh, I, I suspect that is the deal, because you geographically are now moving Far, yeah, away far away from that place. You're yeah. never going to be closer to Arcadia Bay, mm. so... But yeah. you are, we gather, moving closer to the location of Captain Spirit? Yeah, well, we know that's coming. The little yeah. epilogue bit set with the snow yeah. uh, definitely teases, doesn't it? A yeah, sort of, so that's coming like, at some point. And yeah. it's, uh, it suggests that powers are going to be controlled. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's well, given the, yeah. the, the rate of time passing in the game, right? Mm. So it's yeah. been a few days, and it's... Um, Early November, and it's coming up on yeah, Christmas that's right. it's coming time. Coming up on Christmas in Captain Spirit. In Captain Spirit. So mm. I reckon another episode or two before we get to there. Unless they do a big time jump, they could yeah, be like could do. three weeks later. Yeah. We've been hiding out somewhere or other. It's entirely possible. Mm. So for now, I think that's all that we have to say about Life is Strange 2, episode one. Um, but again, we want to talk about theories and we want to talk about what you guys think is going to happen. So again, if you do have a theory about where Life is Strange 2 is going, what Comments. we're going to see in like episode two or the finale, whether you think Brody is an angel, uh, pop it in the comments. Yeah. Or we're going we're gonna to time skip all the way back to the beginning. Esteban's yeah. going to be fine. Yeah. What I'm looking forward to is... I get that hug. It's going, to, it's going to be Robot Max. Robot Max, Robot Max from the future. I have been to the year 5000 and yep. I am here to yep. save your father. Yeah. You You're going to lead the resistance. Yeah. Sean and Daniel. This is my angel friend, Brody. <laughs> Flawless. <laughs> <laughs> it all ties in. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let us know what you think. Uh, remember, uh, when you pop your theory in the comments, uh, just add the text LIS2 theories. That'll just make it a little bit easier for us to search through them all and like collect them for next time. Mm. But for now, I guess the only thing there is to say is that life is strange. It's strange, isn't it? Too. Life is too strange. <laughs>